I am Tim Rice and the purpose of this tape is to to ask you to invite me to speak to your group, to your small homeschool group or to your mega multi-state super duper homeschool conference as a keynote speaker. That would be all right too. But mostly I want to speak to people about this topic because I think this is important. So my objectives are to explain why I think that it's important that every Christian high school student take psychology before they go to college, and, and second, to explain what I mean by teaching psychology from a, from a Christian perspective. When, when, when I teach psychology to, to students, the very first lesson, the very first lecture that I give, I, I talk about one of the most famous experiments in the history of psychology. And I think that this experiment is relevant to, to why, why I say we should um, teach psychology to our, our Christian high school students. I think Milgram's experiment showed us something about the challenges that our students will face when they, when they leave home and, and go off to college. And, and I won't explain all of Milgram's experiment today here in this tape, but suffice it to say, what, what Milgram showed in, in his uh, 1961 experiment was that, that it is very difficult, it is very difficult to, to disobey immoral authority. It is difficult to disobey immoral authority. What Milgram found was that, was that ordinary, everyday people would inflict painful and, and perhaps even harmful electric shocks on an innocent victim just because they'd been told by someone in authority to do so. So what we learned in, in Stanley Milgram's experiment is that, that it is difficult. It is difficult to resist immoral authority. We teach our, our children to obey authority. And we teach them um, Daniel in the lion's den and Shadrach and Meshach in the and the biblical examples of resisting immoral authority. So, so I, think, I think our children are ready. They're on the lookout for a, an Egyptian pharaoh-looking fellow with long robes and, and lots of gold telling them to bow down to and, and worship false idols, but, but that's not what it's going to be like. Chances are that, that the command to obey immoral authority, to believe things that are completely inconsistent with a Christian worldview. Chances are the command to disbelieve the things that we teach our children will come from someone who looks like me, a psychology professor, a handsome professorial type wearing a tweed jacket for authority and a tie-dye shirt. Maybe not a tie-dye shirt, but your professor in, in Psychology 101 at State University will teach that, that psychology is the study of the brain and the behavior, period. That's all, nothing more. There is no soul. He or she will be more likely than not, more likely than any other professor, to be an atheist. The psychology professor may attack the Christian worldview as unscientific. They will claim that that, that the Christian worldview is irrational, prudish, exploitive, controlling, inhibitive, oppressive, naive. It is not. They are, in a way, demanding obedience. To them, religious belief is, is something that intelligent people will, will eventually grow out of.